Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. The, the Hermit card keeps popping out in your reading. You're in your full power or you are in like strong hermit mode right now. And the Hermit is about soul searching. I don't know what you're sitting here soul searching and thinking about here. This is about reflection, heavy thought. Heavy thought, this could be... <clears throat> You know, no talking, separating yourself from, you know, maybe you're not as social right now. You're sitting at home on the couch. <clears throat> okay. That's just what I'm getting. Door to value. The number 31 could be significant for you. Okay. It's time for you to take action. If some of you guys, <gasps> oh, excuse me. Okay. Okay. There's something here that you need to take action on, okay, to get more money <laughs> or get a better job or improve your finances, okay? There's an opportunity here for you to do so, okay? So keep that in mind, but you just need to take some action. The number 17 could, could be significant. Some of you guys could be seeing the number eight, or you could be born in, in 1988, or you could be 48 years old here, or the number 48 could be significant for you. We have the angel of balance, okay? So whatever approach that you're going to take or whatever action you're going to take here or that you need to take, it needs to be a well-balanced approach, okay? So like if you're looking for a job, you know, a new job or with making more money, then spirit is saying, you know, <clears throat> make sure you are being practical about something, but also when you're taking this action, that the action is balanced. And also here with the hermit card, you guys, okay, this hermit card is about soul searching, but not only just soul searching and evaluation and time to yourself and looking inward, but this action card here represents the white horse represents the inner and the black horse represents the outer okay and with the angel of balance being here with that card that's just telling me you guys need to balance your your action that you're going to take with your inner approach or your inner belief okay apply this where it fits you you, you know better than i do okay you know you'll know how this resonates for you okay all right. Thank you, spirit. So we have Gibo or Gibo, success, union, happiness, and obligation. Okay. So if you have some obligations right now, and a lot of you all do, which is why balance is here. Okay. Spirit wants you to take a balanced approach, be more practical. This is good though. There's some form of a gift coming in for you that's going to provide you with more money. We have door to value here, but we also have the card of success, union, and happiness. But whatever this thing is that is coming in for you, Virgo, is going to make you very, very happy. Okay. And then we have inner equilibrium, which is about your inner, like we just talked about, right? The, your inner versus your outer, right? And it, I don't know if you guys have been struggling with this or what, but we, we have a bunch of cards here, but we're just going to talk about them. Then we have journey across water intuition, creativity, movement, and progress. So you guys are making progress and you are moving. You are taking action. Some of you guys could be physically moving. Some of you all are need to take action on some, some sort of creative idea here. Uh, your intuition is getting stronger here. Maybe that's why you're in uh, hermit mode here, okay? Uh, you're seeing things or you, you have some form of wisdom or experience. Some of you all, too, could be traveling across a body of water or you live near a body of water. Then we have family responsibilities, okay, and inheritance. So maybe somebody here could have inherited some property here recently. This could be you purchasing some property if you didn't inherit it. Uh, also, I feel like you guys are getting more obligations, more responsibilities uh, within your family role. This has something to do with family here, okay? Then we have needs, self-restraint, disappointment, patience, and avoidance of greed. So this is telling me, you guys, basically, when you have more money, don't be greedy about it, okay? Or maybe this is somebody's energy around you who's been greedy. There could be a situation involving some form of inheritance or property involving a family member or something. Be patient. There's a need to be patient here, okay? You, or you may be disappointed in the situation right now involving this, 
okay? But either way, there's some good news coming towards you, okay? All right, let's see here. I don't know why I was called. Yeah, you need to be in the attitude of gratitude here. Attitude of gratitude, okay? Avoidance of greed. Be careful with that, all right, Virgo? Let's see what's going on with you guys in love. Show me what's going on with my Virgos in love, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this doesn't resonate for you, just go check out your other placements, okay? What was that? I see. Okay. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have trust. You deserve love. You are lovable. Hmm. Codependency and soulmate. Bottom of the deck is keep an open mind. Virgo, what's happening here? Are you stuck and attached to a soulmate? Are there trust issues here? You know, looks like there is trust issues here somewhere in this situation, okay? You're dealing with a soulmate. You may, may there may, you could be questioning yourself about whether or not this is the person for you, okay? Hmm. I don't know what this codependency is about here yet. Do you not want to be attached to somebody? Do you not want to be in a relationship, Virgo? Mm. It feels like you don't want to be in a relationship or you don't want to be in a serious relationship or you don't want to get attached to somebody here. Show me more about the situation for Virgo, please, Spirit. Yeah, you're running. Where are you running to? Either you're running away from somebody or something's rushing towards you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Knight of Swords. Show me more about the situation for Virgo. Yeah, Four of Wands, Foundation, Home, Stability, Happiness. Okay. A need for celebration. Hmm. Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. This Four of Swords is uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. So somebody's stressed out. Hmm. Anxiety. The, the Magician, Gemini, Energy. So is this, this is something that you manifested, but you're stressed out about it. Maybe you don't trust the situation. Maybe you aren't ready for this. Gemini energy. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Now we have the Emperor. Okay. Divine masculine energy. Aries energy. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody's confused here. Scorpio energy. Somebody's confused. They don't know which choice to make. Okay. Somebody's playing. Okay. Somebody's playing chess here, very calculated about how they move, how they roll. King of Pentacles, you guys could be dealing with an earth sign. You don't have to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Or this King of Pentacles could be the one who's having, having anxiety and who's stressed out and who's confused. Yeah, but see, there's an opportunity for new love. Ace of Cups. You can trust the situation. You deserve it. Do you Why, why do you not want to attach to this situation, Virgo? You're thinking real hard about it. You're thinking really hard about it. The Hermit card is here. The Seven of Cups is here. The Nine of Swords is here. Bottom of the deck is the Strength card, which is Leo energy. So somebody's holding back here. But Spirit is telling you, keep an open mind. Keep an open mind, okay? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So maybe somebody here has children and you, you didn't expect them to have children. Or maybe someone here in this connection wants children or is going to want children, right? But you just don't know if you do or you if you want to accept this person. If they have children, either way, it could go either way, okay? What's this confusion about? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy again. 
It's like you don't have any emotion about the situation or this person doesn't. You're really thinking long and hard about this. No emotions. Yeah, you're guarded. Look at that. Seven of Wands. If this isn't you, this is your person. Somebody's like, uh-uh, no thank you. <laughs> I'm good. This is crazy. I'm good. Okay. All right. Let's 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 pull from a different deck here and see what's going on with you guys. Because I get this energy of like you like just like not trusting the situation. I don't know if it's because you somebody just looks different than your usual type, or this person may have child have children and you may not. You might be on two different pages about when it comes to having a family or a blended family. Maybe you don't get along with this person's family. New love. Yeah, new love. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Look, you, you, you have a new opportunity here. It's going to be a strong foundation obsession. You're obsessively thinking about something. That's that Hermit energy like I told you. Okay, for some of you all, this is a past life soulmate. Or this is a, a person you already know. But again, remember we talked about patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. So have patience. But regardless, like I was telling you guys, stability is here. The relationship can stand the test of time. Four of Wands is stability. You know, it is. Find a way to communicate. Okay. I don't know if this is about blending you your two families together. You need to find a way to transition if that's the case. What's the advice here for Virgo? What's the advice for Virgo in this situation? Okay, something's happening in the future. What is going on, you guys? And decision. So in the future, there is going to be a decision that you need to make. Okay. There is a decision that you're going to need to make. And I know there's a decision that you need to make because you are obviously confused about it, sweetie. You are. Let's read the future and see if there's an additional message in the future because you guys seem to be having a little bit of a difficult time with this. Okay. So it says change your viewpoint to influence the future remember that like water the future is fluid and always changing according to your current actions and thoughts yep gazing intently into the future this mermaid says you can see potential outcomes from your present vantage point okay um however this isn't the full picture and it's changeable okay so something is what not what you expected it's not what you thought it would be or something like things aren't going the way you expected them or this person isn't like what you would have imagined or some, some something or the situation it says if you're feeling sad or depressed times ahead will be colored by the state of mind making everything seem bleak this good news is that is that by adapting a more positive mindset the future can appear golden and full of possibilities it's natural to feel a little helpless during challenging times, yet focusing on the positive and counting your blessings and practicing gratitude. Didn't we see that earlier? Look at that. You can really change your future for the best. A good support network is helpful for you or the person you're reading for, okay? Or somebody in your energy around you. A reassuring contrast, when you're feeling positive, the future can appear even more golden than you could have ever imagined. So from this favorable position, you can see clearly how an outlook and inner dialogue directly have an influence over your future. Similarly, if you've heard of the butterfly effect, the theory of how a simple flap of a butterfly wing can have that far reaching consequence around the world. So go look up the butterfly effect, you guys. You'll be aware that changing one thought or action can have a direct impact on your future, which is what we talked about earlier when we saw balance. We, that white horse is like the, the inner and the black horse is like the outer or the action that you take, right? Okay, so you need to look at something different, okay? You have a gift of insight here and you know that, okay? Your gift of insight is heightened right now. Use this ability for yourself and others and for the highest good of all. Okay. 
Let's pull a lover's oracle for you. Give me a card for a Virgo, please. Thank you. Only time will tell. Yeah, have patience. Divine timing is at play here, okay? So only time will tell. So don't be obsessively thinking about it. It's just going to take time. Just trust your intuition, you guys, and you'll just follow it, okay? I love you guys. That's your reading. Hit the like button. Bye.